how to quickly make a frame-by-frame -frame rotoscope animation in uh, Adobe Photoshop. Um, pretty simple technique, just using a pre-recorded video and a few drawn-on frames. <clears throat> um, in the past, I've had students make GIFs that come out looking at anything from this, different drawing in every frame, to this, just tracing on top of the photo, um, to even using other photos like this one. Uh, I got the inspiration for this project from a few music videos. I thought a little bit more recently, the Justin Bieber video with Skrillex, Where Are You Now? Where they printed out every frame from a Justin Bieber dance video and let fans come in and draw right on top of the frames of the animation. But I think a little bit more classically done by AHA's Take On Me video. So now this technique can be done a little bit easier than it would have been able to uh, during the take on me. So I already recorded a really quick video using my webcam of just kind of pulling an imaginary thread for my Wacom stylus. And then over in Photoshop, if I close this out, I'll save it real quick. It's really easy to bring a video into Photoshop just by going to File, Import, Video Frames to Layers. So I'm going to go ahead and locate that untitled screen recording that I grabbed. Um, for this project, I think using video is about five seconds-ish, minus four seconds, that works best. You don't want to be too long to start with. So when you open it and when you import it, you get this little window. Um, you can select a certain range to trim if you have like access to the beginning or end of you turning on or off the webcam. And I really recommend limiting to every two frames or maybe even three depending on how long the animation is. Um, to start with, anywhere between 25 to 50 frames uh, is plenty. just depends on how much work you want to put in. So I hit OK. And what Photoshop's going to do is it's going to take every single frame of that video recording and turn it each one into its own layer. So down here in this timeline, if you don't see this timeline down here, real easy, go to Window, Timeline, or uh, I think it's Window Animation. In, uh, in, oh, there it is, Window Timeline in Adobe CC. So down here, you can have it loop for forever or just once. You hit the play button, and it plays what video we have right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to group all my layers together um, just by clicking on my first layer, layer 1, holding Shift, clicking on my top layer, Command-G to group. Now this doesn't affect my animation at all. I can still hit play, and even though my layers are grouped, it still works. But before we start drawing on, we're going to create some new layers. And over here, this tiny little uh, options menu, the option that you want to uncheck right now is new layers visible in all frames. So if I uncheck that, what I can do now is in Photoshop, I can make a new layer over here, this little button, or uh, Command-Shift-N on a Mac. And now I've got a new layer, but it's only visible on layer 2. If we see, or on layer 1, if we see on layer 2, layer 57 is no longer visible. So what I can do is I can grab my brush tool. Uh, I'm just going to use a simple white circular brush. And I can draw on top of that frame. Now I go to frame 2, and the drawing's gone. So I'll go ahead and make another new layer. Draw again, and repeat this process. Next frame, new layer, draw on it. And now if I play these first few frames, I get that little line moving. So I'll go ahead and delete those and actually start my animation. So the process kind of looks like this. I'm going to go ahead and make a new layer, make sure I'm on frame one, draw a little bit, I'm going to zoom in there, go to layer or frame two, make another layer, draw a little bit more. Now, depending, like this is where you get creative, depending on what you want, you could maybe change your brush uh, every few frames or so, maybe change the color. I'm just using a white brush for now. But again, real simple. Click on the next frame, make a new layer, and draw something new. This is something to experiment with, like uh, what changes over time. You know, maybe uh, I start drawing a little bit of an outline for me on the pen. So my next layer, I'm going to finish that line again, and now extend the outline on the pen. So depending on how much work you want to put in this, how much time you want to put in, you can get something that looks pretty cool. But this is as close as we're getting to traditional animation methods uh, with Photoshop right now. So I'm going to go back to my original file. The one that's finished, 
it took me maybe less than 15 minutes. Uh, this one, I think, had yeah, 48 frames. But pretty simple, quick animation. So to save this animation as a GIF or an animated uh, file, I'm going to go to File, Export, and then in Creative Cloud, I like to use the Save or Web. It's a legacy version. In this menu here, there's a few options that I just want to check. I want to make sure that it's being exported as a GIF, which I can find up here. Make sure that it's looping for forever. And the next thing I want to check is the size. Right now, it says it's going to come out at 27 megabytes, which is kind of big. Um, GIFs, if they're being played on a phone or on Twitter, they don't need to be that big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the size over here. I'll drop it down to 66% of its original. Select off and see what that size gets me. And I'm down to 9 megabytes. That's a lot better. So I can from here to save that. Um, and I've got a new animated rotoscoped GIF.